Welcome to the ShareEdBC how-to video series. This video covers the process of publishing a resource from the moderator perspective. There are two types of publishing processes on ShareEdBC. One is the publishing of organizational resources. Moderators are assigned specifically by their school district or organization and will monitor the publishing queue for resources submitted by their organization or school district users. And the other type of publishing process is the publishing of any resource. ShareEdBC has global moderators who can see any resource submitted by anyone for publishing on ShareEdBC. The publishing role is a specifically granted permission and most users don't have this feature available. You are probably watching this video because you have been assigned this role. Let's get started to show you how this works. To get to your resource queue from the home page, click on Resources and then Review Resources. If you don't see this option, then you have not been assigned the permission to publish resources. When a contributor submits a resource, it is automatically placed in the school district or organizational queue. As a publisher, you will see all the submitted resources that are waiting to be published, waiting for you to continue the process or waiting for the contributor to update the resource based on feedback received. ShareEdBC wants to ensure that resources are connected to the BC curriculum and are error free. A review button displays for the resources waiting to be published by you or any other user from your organization with these permissions. A continue button indicates that the resource is assigned to you and needs to have you complete the process and a decline button allows you as the moderator to put that resource back in the queue for other moderators to access and action it. If there is no button, it means that the resource is waiting for the contributor to provide updates. You can use the filtering controls to only show resources with a particular status. For example, the under review status filter shows the resources that are waiting for you to continue or complete the process. Paging controls display at the bottom of the screen when there are more than one page of resources. The most recently actioned resource displays at the top of the queue. We'd like to show you the publishing workflow through this simple diagram. Draft represents the contributor's creation of a new resource. The item passes anonymously to the publishing queue when the contributor hits submit and is in pending review status. The contributor will see their resource go into under review status when opened by a moderator. The item can then either be returned to the contributor for further updates or published. Let's walk through one resource currently in pending review status. Click on the resource title to view full details of the resource. If you wish to proceed with this item, click on the review button. Alternatively, you can click on the review button in the summary view as well. Once you have clicked on the review button, the resource is now assigned to you and no other moderators see it in the queue. The moderator should be looking for things like correcting typos ensuring that links work both in the URL field and in the attachments. Resource is tagged appropriately to the BC curriculum if required. No personal information has been divulged, either their own or someone else's, and any copyright or author acknowledgements are double checked. In other words, this process should be non-judgmental. As a moderator, you can Cancel, which will return you back to the queue and you will remain assigned to the resource. You can save the resource, which will allow you to save your feedback notes without sending it back to the contributor. You can click on send feedback and that will send any feedback you provided back to the contributor for further editing. And publish. This makes the resource visible to all ShareEdBC users. In reviewing this resource, you notice that the URL they've entered is not functioning. 
Enter your feedback into the feedback box. Once the feedback is complete, click on the Send Feedback button. We have changed screens back to the contributor to show you what the original contributor sees. The contributor receives notifications as the resource progresses through the different stages. The first one will be when the moderator starts the process and it goes in to under review status. Another one when the moderator sends feedback. And you'll receive another one once the resource is published. You can click on resources and my shared resources and click on the title of the resource to, you wish to edit, or you can go directly back to the resource from the links in notifications. At the top of your resource details, you will see feedback from the moderator. Update the resource based on the feedback received as applicable. Let's go in and update the URL that was incorrect. We will delete the previous link and enter the new link. The contributor will then go to step four to send it back to you for review. We are now back on the moderator's screen. The contributor has revised and resubmitted the resource. You can now finish the publishing process by clicking the continue button. Review the contributor's edits. You can provide further feedback to the contributor if you wish, However, it looks like the contributor has updated the item based on your feedback. This means the item is ready to publish, so click the Publish button. Please note that feedback is automatically cleared when the item is published. Now that we've published one with you, why don't you navigate to the Resource Review queue and complete one yourself. Thanks for watching and enjoy using SureEdBC.